General Austin on hand today when President Biden overturned a controversial military policy by the Trump administration. President Biden lifted the ban on transgender people serving in our military. Natisha Lance spoke to Georgians impacted by the reversal. To sum it all up into one word, joy is what they are feeling. It is a moment some believed would happen eventually, but they say for it to come so early in the Biden administration gives them a lot of relief and a lot of hope. 22-year-old Kaysen Bradley has been waiting two years to enlist in the Army. He comes from a long line of military members dating back to World War II. But it was 9-11 that really fueled his call to serve. Seeing that made me want to be able to serve even more. In 2017, he was on the verge of making it happen. It was around the same time he decided to transition. Then, a series of tweets from President Trump warning trans individuals would not be accepted or allowed to serve in the military discouraged Kaysen. We were considered a burden. Kaysen put his dreams on hold, but never stopped training, hoping he'd get another shot. On the first Monday of his administration, President Joe Biden delivered on a campaign promise, reopening military admission to transgender men and women. Just knowing that my brothers and sisters in arms that are transgender can and will be able to serve openly and proudly and freely. It's it's a very, very happy moment. Senior Airman Nathan Kimmer has been doing it for about two years, enlisting and transitioning a few years before President Trump's ban took effect in 2019. For Kimmer, it feels like the country is turning a corner, but others feel this is just a step toward complete inclusion. Well, Kaysen says he plans to enlist in about a month or two. He plans to become an Army Ranger. And after such a long journey, he says he knows on that enlisting day, it will be tears that he'll be shedding, but tears of joy.